In this lesson, I'll show you how to draw a very simple flower using Desmos. Now, the first thing in the equation editor here, I'm going to type in R equals and then letter A and then sine and then B and then the symbol theta. And I can just type that in T H E T A and it turns to the theta symbol. It then asks me if I want to add sliders for A and B. Well, yes, I do. So I'll click on all. And you can see I've got a circle here. Now to adjust the overall dimension of the flowers, I just need to increase the value of A. I'll put in some maybe five. And B will adjust the number of petals. Now I also want to have my petals colored in. So where I've got this R equals, I'll change that to less than or equals. Now it gets colored in. And here where I've got the B, let's increase that to say three. You see I've got three petals, maybe even five. I've got five petals. And if I go to 5.5, that's actually a nice little pattern when we go to 5.5. Now in the center of my flower, I want to have a little circle in here as well. So I'll put in the equation of a circle, which is x squared plus y squared equals, and I would have r squared for the radius. Now my radius I'm going to set as one. So just put one in there. Now I want this to be colored in. So I will say I have to put less than or equals, and there I get my flower head. Now I can change the colors here. So I'll go into the gear wheel. I think I'll leave the petals as red, but in the center here, I'll click on the color here. And I think what I'll do here is I'll get rid of the actual line around the circle. I'll change it to red and then change the opacity to one. So I've got a fully filled in circle. And there is my flower. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.